you enjoy that progressive muzzle, there's a progressive muzzle. That's really crazy. I still went off on a lot of great stuff there. So this is my good friend Mark. Tell us what happened to the Trump people outside. Yeah, outside there were uh, some anti-Trump people who, uh, you know, were, were you know, just saying their usual rants. Thank you. Thank you. And then the pro-Trump people were, you know, countering. And the thing that I didn't even notice right off the bat, the pro-Trump people, I mean, the, the uh, anti-Trump people, were wearing brown shirts. Like? Hitler's brown shirts. Yep. And um, uh, Curtis Bell, you know, the, Mr. Trump, Mr. Mask. brought it out. He said, you're the, you're the fascists. You're the ones that are uh, wearing yeah. the brown shirts. They are the fascists. They've you know? always been the fascists. So it, it was great that, uh, that, that he caught it. And unfortunately, I couldn't get a lot of good shots, but I had to take them from inside the, uh, the convention center. Right. But at least it was documented. Good. I'm glad you got it. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, good, good, you know, good to see you. And, yes. And, you know, disrupt away because this is a, uh, uh, you know, it's nice that they have progressives and conservatives together. Yeah. But the panelists this year is like... You know, 80% liberal and 20%, you know, conservative. So Outrageous. Um, we need people to just, like, applaud like crazy yeah. when the conservatives are talking because we're going to get drowned out. Okay. I'm going anyway, to gotta check you. a few more and then I'm going to look at the calendar. I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Thanks, Mark. I'm going to get... It's, it's a total so, uh, to go Oh my God. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm just... No, no, go for it. Like uh, thank you so much. I hope, I'm recording. I hope that's fine. Uh, I think it's fine, sure. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, um, we really need work on this single-payer thing. I'm terrified. Everybody is gaga for it, and we really need to have more resources on how to debate this. I'm encouraging you. I encourage Dennis. The, the videos that he makes going forward to, like... What about in Can have people from Canada, from Israel, from NHS to document how bad it is? Because people are really being suckered into this. And people need to be armed and ready to be able to respond to it, I think. Uh, right. Well, I'm not going to speak for Dennis himself. So That's speak, fine. I'm speak for myself. And I'll say we do have a new video that came out with Bob McEwen uh, for PragerU about why government can't fix healthcare. I remember that. Okay. So Good. So all the arguments in that video oh, well, apply to single payer as well oh, hey, as any you. other kind of Good. I, I hope we can do what we can. Um, I'm getting pretty terrified. It's not, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's pretty frightening. I mean, we're like this close to it already in this state. And like Obamacare didn't get repealed yet. This well, isn't it good. should be frightening because you look conceptually at some of the problems that uh, people are facing in healthcare. And they really get back to that basic issue of having freedom of choice and having personal liberty. And I always think of the family in Great Britain who were not allowed to remove their child from the hospital and bring it to the United States. Charlie uh, Gard. Yeah, I can't, sorry, I couldn't remember his name. It's just tragic. And there's Absolutely. really no medical, ex there's really no uh, rational medical explanation for why they wouldn't be allowed to do that. When the hospital says they're beyond our care, oh. and then they say, well, you can't take them anywhere. Why? That kid's life is no longer in your hands. If so your only I service is health care, you think, say that you can't provide it, I they think, should be free to go. I yeah. Think, I think you might want to mention that uh, that's not necessarily the best argument because that doesn't have to do with the fact that it's actually... That kind of, you know, that ability for hospitals to hold patients off is off in Great Britain also applies to private hospitals. It's not simply the NHS that is a lot of Well, what happens when a... There's share of Bebbage Jeffy. They don't have the backing. Well, they still have the backing of the state because they've determined that... So here's... So what, so what question essence, are you asking? Are you asking no, about the essence, difference? The issue with the, issue with the trial of your case isn't like an actual subsidy, if you would say, medical ethics. That the, the government of Great Britain has decided that it is ethical to allow a hospital to hold Do you know any other method that the government has to deal with healthcare? In I'll be right back. Other than Sherry. Sherry, right? Am I getting it right? Sherry? Oh gosh. I know the Bebbit's Jeffy part. I could never forget that. What is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm, yeah, I wanted to. So you're still working at USC? Is that yep. right? Okay. Are you a professor? Yep. Or Okay. What's the specific field that you... Yeah, my title is Professor of the Practice 
of public policy communication. Okay, got it. Can I can I ask you a few questions? Sure. Okay. Are, are you where are you doing? She's okay, well, I'm, thank you. Oh. Yeah, as long as I can get out of people's way. Okay, so um, let me start with some basics just to give people a little background. How long have you been working at NBC? Oh, I think 2003. Okay, okay, so pretty it's recent. During the recall. Oh, I remember that. I remember Daryl Issa and Art Torres tearing each other up. That was a lot of fun. So what do you think Daryl Issa's chances are? I think he's in trouble. Okay, do you think he's going to get thrown out? Uh, he may. Okay. Mad. Can you explain what, what happened? Okay, between 2014 and 2016. 2014, he didn't even campaign. It was a 30-point margin, and then it went down to 1,000. Barely 1,000 votes. Right. Nearly 1,000 votes. Hey, how are you? That's my honey. Hi, honey. I mean, husband. Hi, okay, hi. What's your name? Doug. Doug, nice to meet you. You tell him. He's the one who does the numbers. You guys are like Patch Adams. Yes. Wonderful. Down on the next is it there right over that way. Mm -hmm. And the uh So Sherry, just so just to wrap it, okay. That's all Yeah. Please, because I want to talk to Miss Be Miss okay. Jeffy. Wonderful. Okay, so what happened between 2014 and 2016? What happened? That is insane what happened. Well, I think part of it had to do with the uh, national visibility okay. that ISA gained, and, and it isn't, it wasn't positive when he was the chair of the oversight committee. Okay. He really did overstep the bounds. You think he did? Yeah. How? How? Well, now, we're talking about California here, remember? And, well, a lot of reasons. Well, of course one I know this is California, okay? The, well, you hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, the whole Benza the Benghazi hearing did not help him at all. Also, really? if you look at his district, like almost every other district in the state, the, the democracy has changed. Okay, Orange so County has he also not had an been opponent in the Well, I didn't get there yet. Um, it, now I forgot what I was going to say. So the demography is changing? The demography is changing. We went for Hillary Clinton. As a state by four million votes, yeah, in 2016. So just factor that in okay. to the equation. Do you think that voter fraud's an issue? No. Why not? Absolutely not. Really? I've never seen any evidence of it. Uh, David Goldstein did a story. You had uh, 200 dead people were on the voter rolls, for example. Out of four million margins. That's not the only thing. You're mocking me, and I'm not I'm giving not you more. You. There's okay. more, but I'm gonna tell you. In Ventura County, I have a gentleman. He he took out the first voter rolls. The first 16 names are illegal aliens. That's a problem. Secretary of State Alex Padilla has issued directives that no matter what your status, you get a driver's license in the state of California, but you also can well, register to vote. That's law. That's true. But what it, the standard practice is when getting a license with the automated voter motor law, you are registered to vote if you don't check either box. That's a problem. Not only that, oh, but that people can, can people can register to that, vote online. That, that's a new piece, and it's easily corrected. But it's not getting corrected. Well, then do something. So, and, and, but and, what I'm telling you is voter fraud's an issue. You said it's no, silly. I don't. I did not say it. Okay, I'm sorry. Correct, correct me. Don't give me this crap or I'm going to walk away. No, you know, I'm allowed to say silly. something. You no, said no, it was no, silly that... I, no, no, yeah. no, no. Okay. Yeah, I did not say you said it was that silly. Vote, yes, no. that voter fraud, you, out of 4 million, I have you on camera. Well, that is silly. <laughs> that what? 200 out I never of said 4 that, million. but voter fraud it's is a real it. issue. No, it Vo may be an issue. Yes, it's, it's huge. Not, it, no, it is not a huge. 5,000 people have unregistered in Colorado as we speak. Why is Alex Padilla holding back the voter records from Trump? Ask him. Well, you know what? Don't you think why, you should ask why, him? I why, think you should ask him. Why? Because people respect Why is... Yeah, we do have to go. Uh, <laughs> why, wait a minute. Why is the voter commission that has been established asking for such detailed private information? It is not... Necessary. I disagree. Well, Steve, but that's fine. This is all opinion. No, it's not no, it is. voter integrity it, is serious. It's true. Serious. The vote. Look what happened to the lady in North Carolina. Well, voter fraud is real. Uh, well, and, 
Come on. Elijah Cummings went after the True the Vote organization. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, now you're waving me off because I'm asking some serious no, stuff. No, no, no. Stupid I'm sorry. Wow, I'm... this is your husband? Um, wow. Don't touch me. No. Do not touch me, Miss Jeffy. Oh Whoa. Cut it out. Whoa. Do not touch me, Miss Jeffy. Wow. She called me fake news. You know that Bevitz Jeffy is biased. Jeffy, she just attacked. She grabbed my arm. And her husband called me a fucker. You act like that around your grandkids? What? He called me that. Did you hear that? He did not. Yeah, he said, I'm a stupid fucker. This is your this husband. Is Whoa. I, that was right news. there. Just you are. Down. Okay. That was crazy. I'm sorry, but I get a little shocked when you grab me by the arm I like that. I grab you. I turned you around. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the professor from USC, and he, she claimed that voter fraud is yep. silly. Bullshit. Oh, shit. I don't have my court. I don't have a court. You didn't even identify yourself. I don't have to. Thinking we would have a serious discussion. Okay, well, and I'm trying to have a serious discussion. Me. You okay. grabbed me. You grabbed me. Yes, you did. That was very offensive. Holy crap. Did you see that? I asked her permission. She, we recorded. And then the woman grabbed me. That was crazy.